all right you are welcome again we are still talking about ordinary differential equation and today we are considering how to form ordinary differential equation let's take a look at this question form the differential equation corresponding to y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x please i want you to pay attention to this okay we are going to see how to form a differential equation corresponding to this function y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x and then in our previous lessons we have touched some examples and we say some things like how many arbitrary constant or how many constant involve determine how many times you will differentiate and then when we look at this function we discover that we have constant a and b so that means we are going to differentiate this function in two times we are going to differentiate this function two times okay and then you discover that as we differentiate these two times is having order two that is is having second order all right good now follow me let's go we have y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x let's call this equation one and you discover that our major concern is to remove this constant a and b okay now let's go as we call this equation one let's differentiate this for the first time when we differentiate y is going to give us dy dx and then we move over to the right hand side when we differentiate a cos x you know a cos x is we're going to use product rule we're going to use what product rule so when we use product rule to differentiate a cos x it's going to give us minus a sine x then we'll say plus when we differentiate b sine x using the same procedure it's going to give us b cos x so when we differentiate the first time we have dy dx is equal to minus a sine x plus b cos x now because we have two constants that means we're going to differentiate two times we said it earlier right and we have differentiated the first time now now let's differentiate this again so when we we'll differentiate this again we we'll differentiate dy dx it's going to give us d squared y all over dx squared that is the second derivative okay good now in the right hand side when we differentiate minus a sine x it's going to give us minus a cos x and then when we differentiate b cos x it's going to give us minus b sine x is that true yes so we have differentiated the first time and then also the second time now let's do what we need to do in order to eliminate this constant now if you look at the right hand side very well you see that we have minus a cos x minus b sine x can we factor out this minus sign now let's do that that means we're going to have the squared y all over dx squared is equal to minus a cos x plus b sine x that's what we're going to have right good now let's go back to our first equation what do we have in our first equation we say that y is equal to a cos x plus b sine x and what we have in this second derivative we have second derivative is equal to minus a cos x plus b sine x you see that they are the same thing right good now that means we're going to replace a cos x plus b sine x with y because it is the same thing in equation one is that true that means we're going to substitute for y so in the place of a cos x plus b sine x we replace it with y because y is the same as a cos x plus b sine x so if we do that 
we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared equal to minus y all right yes let's take y to the other side that means we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared plus y equal to zero so this is the differential equation of y is equal to a cos x plus b sin x is that clear yes now if you pick the value for the squared y all over dx squared and add it to the value of y it's going to give you zero yes it's true all right yes let's take another example all right yes